Welcome to another episode of the Star Maker's Guide to the Star Made Galaxy. Hey, S.A. Mech. When I first started with Star Made, I lost this ship in a battle, and I really wish I could get it back. I would recommend becoming a better pilot. Well, we all lose a battle from time to time. Didn't you save it in the ship's catalog? I was new. Give me a break. But at least I can give a tutorial on the catalog to help prevent this from happening to my viewers. You can access the catalog from any menu by selecting the catalog tab. You do not need to be near the shop to use the ship's catalog unless you want to buy a ship. It is a good idea to carry a shop module with you because then you can buy a ship. The first tab, which is default selected, is the personal tab. It will allow you to see your ships that you have saved to the server. The available tab will allow you to see all of the public ships on the server you are currently playing on. And if you are an administrator, you will have an admin tab to see all of the ships saved to the server. To create an entry, make sure you are on the personal tab and press create new entry. A default name will be recommended. You should at this point create a name for the blueprint. Do not think of this as a ship's name, it is more like a ship class name. The other two buttons on the top are more for when you are logged into other servers. In that case, Create New Entry will save to the server you are logged onto. Save in Local Catalog will save to your local computer's catalog and not the server. Upload Entry from Local will load from your personal catalog so you can use your own ship's designs. But if you have two launchers on your computer, it will only give you access to the designs from that launcher. Find the ship in your catalog manager and press the plus to find more options. When you first create your ship, your ship's description is no description given. You will want to create a custom description by pressing this button here because when your list starts getting larger, you'll have trouble remembering what each ship does. The next button is Permission, which allows you to decide who has access to your designs. Other allows you to let anyone access the design. And Faction allows only those in your faction to access the design. You can also rate your design, and the last choice is to delete the design. You can also sort through your designs by clicking the name, owner, price, or rating. While in the admin tab, you can also set the ships as enemy usable under the permission button, and you can also gain the ability to change ownership of a design to a different user. You can download blueprints from starmade.org or the multiverse. Links are in the description. The file extension you download is a SMENT file. You manage blueprints from the catalog manager. To access this, you have to start from the launcher. Click Start Game. 
Then on the top, click Tools, Open, Ships, Catalog, Manager. From here, you can click Import to add ships to your local list. Export will generate an SMENT file from your blueprints in the list. Remove will delete a file from your list. And Upload will upload ships to StarMade.org so that others can use your design. But you must be logged in to use this function. One fair warning though for uploading. Anything you upload will be registered as from unknown and will be set to enemy usable. So if you do not wish to be attacked by these ships, I would suggest changing the permission settings. Thank you for watching my video. If you would like to support this project, please rate, comment, and subscribe.